Yep. Uh, he's touring, basically lecturing at universities. Obviously, there's significant backlash. Put up one of the promotions. Look at that. He's famous because he shot people. Wow. Where Atlanta Black Star, Cal Rittenhouse has colleges asking him to speak, to lecture. It continues to draw heavy opposition from campus communities. The organization behind Rittenhouse and his speaking tour, none other than Turning Point USA. Who else? Turning Point USA calls it the Rittenhouse Recap. And the tour is set to take place at the University of Memphis and Western Kentucky University this month. You know what you're doing. You, out of everybody that you could have brought here, you picked Kyle Rittenhouse, someone who's a murderer, who has this, he's the face of violence in our country. A few moments later. Look at shit. Look at what is that? That's an eight. Oh my god. I'm standing up here. Hey, look, I'm spitting on you. Oh my god, that girl is spitting. This is wild. Keep going, Tanner. Don't stop. Light the fuck up. We're not even written here. They can see me. Tanner, can they see me? No, just stay down. Good, stay down. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! All right, guys. So we got to talk about Black Lives Matter because they are back. This time they are rioting and causing chaos and destruction and basically threatening people's lives over Cal Rittenhouse speaking at the University of Memphis. Okay, and again, this is a story that has been developing over the past few days as there have been threats of protests and riots towards the university because they're letting Cal Rittenhouse speak now the event was tonight uh march 20th uh and these people are currently losing their minds right they're losing their minds and they're chasing and harassing individuals who attended the event now they tried to cancel the event by pressuring the administrators of the school to not have the event and then they tried to protest by buying a bunch of tickets in mass and then not showing up so that nobody will be able to hear Kyle Rittenhouse speak okay and I want to talk about this story because I think that there are a lot of issues that we got to discuss in regards to how conservatives are constantly under threats of violence and danger every time they speak at these college campuses and not a damn thing is being done about it so without further ado Let's go ahead and play the news clip. Take a look. Controversial right wing speaker Kyle Rittenhouse taking the stage at the University of Memphis. But who is allowed inside that event? Well, that's turning into an even bigger ordeal. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy Redmond. And I'm Joe Birch. Action News 5's Kelly Cook has been looking to get answers today after students learned their tickets were no longer valid. Kelly? Kelly? Well, University of Memphis officials told me if you do not have a ticket, you cannot get inside of the event. That includes the media as well. But after a last minute uh, email that came out, a lot of folks who thought they had a ticket found out their tickets have been revoked. That enabled me to check the status of my uh, tickets and uh, turns to find out that um, they've been canceled. University of Memphis sophomore Richard Massey got quite the surprise Wednesday morning regarding his tickets to see Kyle Rittenhouse. U of M chapter of Turning Point USA, a nonprofit that advocates conservative views on college campuses, invited Rittenhouse to Memphis to speak. He received this message from Turning Point saying his tickets were no longer valid and had to sign up again. 
By the time he tried to request tickets again, it was already sold out, changing plans for many students who wanted to ensure Rittenhouse spoke to an empty house. Students on this campus had, of course, demonstrated their concerns through um, purchasing tickets in mass to not show up to this event. It's a, a peaceful protest. Rittenhouse made international headlines in 2020 after he crossed state lines to Wisconsin and shot and killed two people and injured a third at a Black Lives Matter protest. He was found not guilty, claiming self-defense. They put me on trial for defending myself and sometimes I think, like, what would have happened if they would have killed me? Would they have prosecuted the people who killed me if I would have died? And I don't think they would have. That was Rittenhouse speaking at Eastern Tennessee State University last month. But Turning Point USA says the University of Memphis has, quote, taken unprecedented actions to undermine our event seizing control of seating arrangements and the ticketing system. Massey says protests, however, will continue outside the scheduled event. We're, we're even more moved to um, hold um, our university accountable to ensure that, um, as we have done, as our forefathers in our city have done, to stand up to white supremacy when it comes knocking at our door. Now, I did ask University of Memphis officials to clarify why there was sudden change in the ticketing process. They simply said no comment. Rittenhouse is scheduled to speak at 7 o'clock. Doors open at 610. We're live at the University of Memphis. Kelly Cook, Action News 5. Yeah, so you see now you heard that, okay? And it should come as no surprise to you guys that uh, the university was not able to stop the woke revolutionaries from invading this event and disrupting Kyle Rittenhouse's speech, not allowing him to speech because these communists don't believe in free speech. And they also uh, rioted outside of the uh, building that he was in, harassing people who were going to the event to see him speak and who were leaving the event as well, too. Take a look. What lies? What lies? What lies? What lies? Tell me the lies of Black Lives Matter. Tell me the lie you finna talk about. Go ahead, speak. I was sitting down and I was listening to you. But say it's time I ever. No, it's not. celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. It's called Katani Brown Jackson, an affirmative action hire. He's talked nonsense about George Floyd, and he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh. <laughs> then answer, no, no, no. Does that seem racist is a yes or no question, Kyle. After all the things I just told you, would you consider that hate speech? I'm not gonna comment on that. Deflection! 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 Yeah! yeah! Fuck! Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Okay, there's a whole lot of irony here that we got to talk about, but it is the same old scene that we see every single time a conservative speaker speaks at one of these college campuses. Now, again, this is the University of 
Memphis, which is in the city that happens to be one of the most dangerous cities, not just in the United States of America, but in the world. OK, these same people screaming about Black Lives Matter apparently don't give a damn about all the black lives being lost in Memphis almost on a daily basis. Again, the hypocrisy of these individuals knows no bounds. Again, if they actually was to use this type of energy to protest the thugs, the criminals, the gang members, the murderers in uh, the black communities, they would save a whole lot of black lives, okay? But Kyle Rittenhouse did not take any black lives. Uh, a lot of these people are indoctrinated and brainwashed by the mainstream liberal media, and this is a result. Those people probably think that um, Kyle Rittenhouse killed black folks, right? I, I guarantee you, if you survey uh, at least half of those idiots, uh, a vast majority of them would tell you, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed a black person, even though that's just simply not the case. OK, because, again, this is the result of left wing indoctrination. These people uh, claim that Cal Rittenhouse encourages violence when these individuals are violent. Right. Cal Rittenhouse is not uh, encouraging any types of violence. There's been no riots from Cal Rittenhouse supporters. OK, that, that doesn't happen. There's been no violence as a result of Cal Rittenhouse supporters. But the opponents of Cal Rittenhouse, the people who have Cal Rittenhouse derangement syndrome. Yeah, there's been some violence because of those people. OK, so. You know, I guess you can say that Kyle Rittenhouse does cause violence, but it's because of people that hate him, not because of people that support him. Again, that's the irony here. OK, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. They say that, well, Kyle Rittenhouse is going to cause violence. Well, what they mean is that they're going to get violent if Kyle Rittenhouse comes on campus. Again, that again, that's the irony here. Again, it's, it's just it's, it's so amazing how this works. Um, but, you know, with, with that being said, um, we can see that these people clearly and obviously don't believe in free speech. It is not free speech to not allow Kyle Rittenhouse to speak on campus. Okay. And, and that's essentially what they're doing. They're trying to intimidate him, uh, from speaking on these college campuses. Uh, and they are interrupting him, not letting him speak, basically trying to run the man off campus. Okay. In a way that's extremely dangerous. Okay. Um, and at some point, these university officials have to be held accountable, okay? Because um, there are a lot of people on camera that were there, and I personally believe that a lot of them should be expelled because this happens way too much to conservative speakers, okay? And I'm sick and tired of it, okay? I'm sick and tired of these far leftists never being held accountable for their violence and their domestic terrorism because that's exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is. It's domestic terrorism, okay? And see, here's the thing. A lot of people are not going to like me saying this, but I got to bring this up because I bought this up when this event happened. But now with this happening, um, I'm going to prove my point to you guys. Now, I want you guys to imagine if this same protest had took place and it was a pro-Palestine protest against some type of Jewish speaker. The Republican Party would be up in arms like they were when it came to Claudine Gay and how her as president of Harvard did not do enough to protect the Jews on campus. OK, they held a whole hearing holding these university presidents and administrators accountable for allowing violent threats against Jews on campus. Well, what are you doing about it? Okay. This is what they were asking. Now in these videos, there were violent threats against Kyle Rittenhouse, violent chants against Kyle Rittenhouse. Okay. Threatening conservatives. Again, we saw what happened to Riley Gaines. Okay. And how she was basically chased out of one of these schools as well too. I mean, I mean, these people were threatening to cause her bodily harm. Are the Republicans going to have a hearing to hold these university um, officials accountable? Are they going to do the same thing to these people that are allowing these left-wing extremists to get away with this that they did to the Ivy League presidents for allowing left-wing extremism and threats of violence against Jews? That's the question, guys. I'm so serious. That's the question. Do Republicans actually care about conservatives? And the fact that conservatives can't even speak on a college campus without stuff like this happening because they definitely care when it comes to Jews. And don't get me wrong. I'm just calling out the double standards because I think that if you're going to protect Jews from these types of violent threats and these types of extremists, why don't you protect conservatives? Conservatives have been going through this long before, um, you know, what happened to spark the uh, pro-Palestine protests against the Jewish students on campus. But the Republican Party has been silent for the most part. 
Okay, they weren't flexing their power in order to hold people accountable the same way that they did when it came to what happened with Harvard. Because best believe um, that Elise Stefanik hearing where she went off on Claudine Gay, that actually is what was the catalyst for getting rid of her. So don't sit and try to tell me that, oh, Republicans ain't had nothing to do with that. Y'all, No, they had a lot to do with it. They put a lot of pressure on the powers that be to get rid of her. So don't try to play me like I'm no fool. And try to say, oh, Republicans can't do nothing about it. They can. What I care about is Republicans actually growing a spine, getting some cojones and protecting your own people. Protect conservatives from these left wing lunatics. That's what I care about. Because we cannot wait until something happens to one of these conservative speakers on campus because one of these left wing lunatics took it a little bit too far before we actually realize that, hey, these people are a serious threat. We need to send a message, right? You have to set an example out of one of these fools. Get them off campus. Expel them. Get them out of here. Start making examples out of these lunatics. That way you can prevent a conservative speaker from getting hurt in the future. I'm so serious, man. I only can be so mad at the left. I can't, I can't do these videos and be mad at the left all the time when Republicans aren't doing a damn thing about it. And we know they can. In certain situations, they're willing to do it. We saw it. So I hope people understand the reason why I wasn't up here, you know, jumping up and down because of what happened to Claudine Gay. Because I noticed, I was like, okay, so if they can do that to her, if they can protect the Jews on uh, Ivy League campuses, why can't they protect conservatives why can't they hold these administrators accountable that allow conservatives to go through this type of harassment okay i i just want republicans to actually care about their people because these college campuses again we we have to fight the ideological battle right that's the whole point of organizations like turning point Conservative speakers should be allowed to speak on campus freely without having to worry about this type of nonsense, these riots, these extremists issuing these threats of violence, causing chaos and destruction. And I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to protest. They should be able to protest. They want to protest. But that was beyond a protest. OK. There should be some arrest. There should be some expulsions. The people that organized these riots that were issuing threats of violence, we got them on camera. They need to be held accountable because we can't have this. We can have freedom of speech in an orderly fashion where, hey, you can say what you got to say, but you got to let the other side say what they got to say as well, too. We have to have some decorum, some law and some order. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not saying that the leftists should be able to speak up. I'm not even saying they shouldn't be able to protest. But it, it, they're, they're going beyond just protest, guys. It's out of control. It's ridiculous. They're, 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 I mean, if you didn't have security there, people would have got hurt. They would have got hurt. They would have got jumped. They would have got beat up or even worse. And our elected representatives that are supposed to be representing us need to stand up and use all the power that they can to protect their constituents, to con protect the people that are on the ground ideologically fighting to get them elected so you know again i can get up here i can be mad at the extremists but look look if the extremists aren't being held accountable hey and then they this is what they're going to do they're going to become more emboldened so the, the, the people that have the power to actually do something about this they should we should be here having a hearing with these college administrators on what are you doing to protect conservatives on your campus? What are you doing to allow free speech on your campus? That's what we really should be having a, 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 a meeting about. That's what we really should be talking about. We really should be holding them accountable for that. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.